Hi everyone, welcome to What the Hell Did She Say? I am Vanessa Lua and I am so excited because this week I have an interview with John Ross Bowie. Yes, he's the guy who played Barry in the famous TV show The Big One Theory. So I went yesterday to an event where there is a writing competition and they give them this topic and they have like two weeks uh, to write it. That doesn't mean they write it in two weeks, of course, because they are busy people. But anyway, they compete against each other and then the audience vote for their favorite. So this guy did an amazing job and I was like, he looks so familiar and I'm like, oh my God, I'm so excited. So at the end of the night, I approached him and I asked him if I could interview him. But as you know, um, my interviews are with an iPhone. So inside the theater was so uh, dark and loud and I asked him if we could step outside and he said yes. And you have to know that he has kids so he had to go home early and still he was so nice to say yes. So I have the interview and this is so funny because I'm interviewing him outside and then uh, they ask us not to block the entrance but then in the while I start the interview they're like, ah, oh, can you guys move a little more? And I'm like, okay, so I was gonna edit that but I decided to leave it so you can see how nice he is. Okay, enjoy. John, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Congratulations on this amazing performance. You I'm wrote it, you... Hit that light right there, the, the next oh. one. I'm sure, absolutely. Come walk with... I'm gonna show that. Hey, I'm just walk, walk. Yeah, by all means, keep, keep that part in. Keep that part in. Come, come <laughs> over here. We're good here? We're good? We're good? Cool. All right, there we go. Hi. Let's go again, John. Tell me about this amazing performance that you just had. Well, I got invited to do uh, a show called Right Club here in Los Angeles, uh, curated by Paula Killen, who I've known uh, sort of peripherally for years. Um, and I was supposed to do it with my wife, uh, but she had an actual pain writing gig and she wasn't able to do it. So I went up against uh, a wonderful local actress and writer named Abby Shackner. And uh, the uh, topics uh, you're supposed to... Uh, you're assigned topics and you compete against each other uh, for the approval of your peers. We got we versus me. I did we, she did me, she beat me soundly, but it was uh, it was a close race. But I have to say that yours was amazing because it was like very inspirational. I, oh, I, I'm looking into the lens. I, I should be looking at you, shouldn't at I? Least, you can look at whatever okay. you want. <laughs> but at least maybe my English understood that. Was it inspirational? Were you getting that feeling? Um, there were a couple moments where I was I was articulating things that have been on my mind a lot in today's political climate versus the whole, well, the whole we versus me thing that, that appears to be at the core of the healthcare debate and things like that. And, uh, you know, I don't, I will never say that I inspired myself, but I got pretty passionate in the writing. I'll say oh, that. Thank you. It was beautiful. Oh, thank and you. I would love to talk a little about the Big Bang Theory because sure. it's such an amazing show. Oh, How did you get involved there? Uh, I got involved just by auditioning. I auditioned um, uh, in the middle of their second season. Um, the role at the time was named Stuart Kripke. They just wanted a really angry, aggressive, bullying nerd. And they called me in with three other guys. And while I was in there doing my thing, Chuck Lorre, who's one of the creators of the show, suggested that I try some sort of speech impediment. And so I started... I was like, I can try something. I don't know how good it will sound. And what came out was this ridiculous Elmer Fudd that Barry Kripke has and has had for, lo, these past six seasons. And, um, yeah, it just stuck. So I've been doing that Elmer Fudd voice uh, since 2007. Do you, are you a geek, too? <laughs> um, you know, I am... There, it's a spectrum. <laughs> I am geekier than some, not as geeky as others. When I'm on set, I'm actually one of the bigger geeks on the set. There, are, uh, no one on the show is really that into comic books, and I'm sort of a casual fan. Um, but uh, you know, I meet people who can actually speak Klingon, and I can't roll with that. <laughs> That's amazing. Well, thank you so much. And my last thing, I would love to hear your Spanish. Oh, uh, uh, mi español es muy mal, pero um, ay. Oh, Dios mío. Um, uh, I, I, uh, ¿Cómo se dice take en español? Tomar. Tomar. Uh, tomo español en colegio, uh, pero uh, muy mal estudiante. No. Eh, perdóname. No, me yeah. parece que tu español es muy bueno. No. Muchas gracias. Uh, gracias. Muchas gracias. Y, yeah, yeah. Uh. Adiós. Adiós. 
there you go so he's a geek and he has a great spanish even though he didn't recognize it but uh, after the interview we talk a little and he says he would like to go to mexico especially guanajuato and guadalajara so woo, i hope he does and uh well don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel you just have to click the bottom above because next week i have an interview with stephen merchant who was also there in attendance to this event so i grabbed him for an interview and it was ridiculous what i had to do and uh, also in this event was the amazing alex karpovsky i think i pronounced it correctly he's the guy from the tv show uh girls and i had the opportunity to interview him a while ago in dallas so i get to talk to him and be like do you remember the pink iphone and he did so that was so exciting uh follow me on twitter what the hell did and I would appreciate if you become my fan on Facebook. What the hell did she say? Interviews by Vanessa Lua. Thank you so much and I'll see you next week. Adios.